To understand how the Three Gorges Dam can produce so much power, we need to travel back in time. To 19th century Britain and a modest stream in Northumberland, the power behind the world's first hydroelectric dam. In the 1800s, when Britain was at the heart of the Industrial Revolution, this house was the last word in modern living. It belonged to Lord Armstrong, an entrepreneur and obsessive inventor. He fitted his house with state-of-the-art technology, including central heating and mechanical devices that drove elevators, laundry machines, and roasting spits. But there was one place in the house where modern technology was sadly lacking, as historian Anthony Burton explains. This was Armstrong's real pride and joy, the picture gallery full of wonderful Victorian paintings. A bit gloomy even in daylight, but what he really wanted to do was to bring his guests here in the evening, but by the flicker of candlelight, nothing really worked. What Armstrong needed were electric lights and a way to power them. How do you generate electricity? Well, that's something that was known for 50 years because Michael Faraday had given the secret. You move a magnet in relation to a coil of wire. I've got a little setup here to show how it might work. Now, here we are. Here we've got two magnets on the end of this disc, and right here is a coil of wire. Now, if I make this spin in relation to that, we should make electricity. And yes, we're getting a reading on the ammeter. We are definitely making electricity. Every time the magnets on the disc move past the coil, they generate a tiny electric pulse in the copper wire. To make a lot of electricity, you need much bigger kit. And this is what Armstrong bought, the Thomson Vortex Turbine a grand piece of equipment. The Thompson turbine needed a huge volume of fast-flowing water to drive the rotor. All Lord Armstrong had available was a tiny stream trickling through his estate. What he needed was this, a lot of water. And how does he get this out of a small stream? He built a dam. Armstrong built an earth wall nearly 10 meters high, which turned his stream into a deep lake. This mass of water pushed down, increasing the pressure at lower depths. Armstrong channeled this high pressure water down through a pipe to the bottom of his dam. Here, he injected it into a Thompson turbine, where the torrent spun the rotor. This, in turn, rotated a shaft linked to a generator that produced 4,000 watts of electricity. For Armstrong, this was only the first step to enlightenment. He then needed to get the electricity from the turbine house at the bottom of the dam all the way to his picture gallery over a kilometre away. Armstrong connected two strands of thick copper wire to the generator to carry the electricity up to his mansion. All in all, he used five tonnes of copper to power a single light bulb. But he created a world first, a house lit by the power of water. On the other side of the planet in central China, the Three Gorges Dam can light up two and a quarter billion light bulbs. <laughs> 